slope of line. The slope of line between point minus 3, 6 and the point 3, comma k is minus 2 over 3. Determine the value of k. Now for such problems, we should write what slope is. We know slope m is equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Now in this formula, we are given two points. Any point can be considered as x1, y1 and x2, y2. right? But I'll prefer to write this point as the second point since we'll get k value first. right? Now here we are given that the slope is minus 2 over 3. So we can replace m with minus 2 over 3 and write y2 minus y1 that is k minus 6 over 3 minus minus 3. So that gives us k minus 6 over 3 minus minus 3 means 3 plus 3, correct? And we have minus 2 over 3 on the left side. Now this can be simplified further as k minus 6 over 6 over minus 2 over 3. Now in this case we can just cross multiply and then solve for k. Or you can say that multiply both sides by 6. So either way, so what we'll do is we'll multiply by 6 on this side and 3 on the other side. That's one thing. Second thing is we can think about multiplying both sides by 6. In that case, this gets multiplied by 6 and this gets multiplied by 6. Then 6 and 6 cancel out and you're left with minus 2 times 2. So that's another alternative way of doing it. So we'll follow this method now. Okay, So we get minus 4 equals to k minus 6 in this case, right? Otherwise, if you cross multiply, then what do you get? If you cross multiply, that means 6 times minus 2 will give you minus 12 equals to 3 times k minus 6, right? You get this. Solving both equations one and the same thing, but if you cancel them out by multiplying both sides by 6, which is the common denominator, then you get an equation which is much simpler to solve, right? So you can solve either way. So I'll prefer to do it this way. So now from here, I can find what k is by taking 6 on this side. And so we get k equals to 2. So that is the value of answer. So we get k equals to 2, right? Now you can also verify your answer once you get k value. So let's check our answer. It is not necessary to check the answer, but it is kind of better to check the answer, right? So we write 2 here. So the points for us are minus 3 and 6, and the other point is 3 and k's value is 2. Now between these two points, the slope should be 2 minus 6 over 3 minus minus 3. So we get 2 minus 6 is minus 4 and 3 plus 3 becomes 6 which is minus 2 over 3. So it is what we are required to. We are what we are given, right? So therefore we get answer k equals to 2 is correct. Thank you.